A sine of A where A is the angle opposite the side A this ratio um, is equal to equal to B over sine B which is also equal to by symmetry C over sine C instead of A and B and C you can say alpha beta and gamma so this theorem which is the law of sines in a triangle is proved very beautifully by uh, Gelfand using the idea of areas now there is this ratio so is actually equal to a constant and uh, when Gelfand will do another proof in a forthcoming chapter we will get to know the value of this constant k and it's very interesting so I'll leave you to discover it now there's still more nice things in this chapter now if um, Gelfand finds that these topics are important we just go by his judgment uh, before I come to the two explanations that he has conducted in this chapter he also talks about one interesting the most famous relationship relating sine and cosine of an angle any angle and uh, this is equal to 1 but there's one more equally interesting relationship between sine and cosine which you already have learnt in 10th but it's good to write it here because it's so important so sine alpha is the related to cos of 90 minus alpha very simple one line proof but uh, very interesting relationship so after these two basic relationships between sine and cos he carries out two explorations and he asks a question where is the what is the maximum possible value of sine alpha plus cos alpha where alpha can be any angle between 0 and 90 okay so I leave it to you to mull on this question along with uh, gel fan uh, just point out that this will come out to be an important um, thing to know in physics when we study simple harmonic motion and the technique that we learn at that time will enable us to quickly 